Based out of Ueno Village in south central Iga, the Togaku Ryu survived through a tight veil of secrecy to become the only known remaining ninjutsu system to emerge from the fall of the Tokugawa shogunate in the 19th century. In 1898, Shinryu Ken Masamitsu Toda, the 32nd headmaster and a sword instructor to the Tokugawa family, began the instruction of a new student at the request of a close relative. It was his grandson. Young and weak at the age of nine, the boy would eventually go on to become the last true combat experienced ninja in Japanese history. His name was Hisatsugu Takamatsu. Takamatsu, who later changed his first name to Toshitsugu, was born on March 10, 1889. His father, Gishin Takamatsu, was a religious leader, politician, and owner of a match factory in Kobe. Determined to strengthen his son in preparation for service in the military, he sent him to train at the dojo of Shinryu Ken Toda. Over the next five years, he would endure the harsh training of his grandfather and go on to become a recognized master of the Shinden Fudo Ryu fighting art at the mere age of 13. The young Takamatsu, nicknamed Kotora or Young Tiger, had developed into a ferocious fighter, reputedly undefeated in matches both inside the dojo and outside on the streets of Kobe. It was during this time also that Takamatsu began martial instruction under two other veteran battlers, Matsutaro Ishitani and Yoshitaro Tadafusa Mizuta. In a time when native born killing arts were looked down upon as ungentlemanly and anachronistic, the brash Takamatsu leapt at the chance to learn such methods, methods disappearing as quickly as the samurai culture they had served. For centuries upon centuries.、Uh, during the Meiji Restoration, when the、uh, samurai class was disbanded,、um, virtually anything that was、mm, a part of that samurai class,、um, the combat arts especially, were sort of looked down upon. So many of the people who were involved in that sort of training and activity had to modify what they did to make it something that would be socially acceptable.、Um, so my understanding in, in Japanese history is that was the, the beginning of looking towards the transformation of the、um, warrior arts into, into the gentlemanly arts.、Um, and some people still make the mistake of thinking that That, trans, that transformation is easy to reverse, but it's really quite difficult to reverse. Much of the heart and spirit is lost once that's thoroughly set in. By the age of 22, Takamatsu had become a recognized master and inheritor of nine distinct warrior arts six of samurai lineage and three of ninja clan lineage, passed down from Toda, Ishitani, and Mizuta. Unable to test his skills in the peaceful and structured society of New Japan, Takamatsu traveled to politically unstable China, where his abilities would be put to good use. Yet, after only a short visit, he was forced to return home, having contracted a severe case of tapeworms and beriberi, which afflicted his legs. Unwilling to pose a burden on his relatives, the ailing young warrior brought himself here. To Mount Maya, just outside of Kobe. Feeling sure that death would soon overcome him, he dragged his swollen legs through the mountain forest to the edge of the secluded Kame no Taki waterfall. It was along the banks of the falls that he would be found by an old wandering ascetic named Tamaoki and nursed back to health. 
Once fully recovered, Takamatsu spent the next few months in the wilds of the Mount Maya wilderness, building his perspective. With a new lease on life and renewed vigor, Takamatsu headed back to China, where he would stay for close to 10 years, teaching martial arts to scores of Chinese, English, and French in order to survive. During this time, he would also engage in numerous fighting matches and challenges to the death, never losing once. As a result of such victories, his reputation grew throughout various political circles and China's violent underworld. Counting among his associations such men as famed Mongolian warlord Zhang Zuo Lin and Pu Yi, the last emperor of China, and puppet emperor of Manchu Kuo. In 1919, Takamatsu finally left China and returned to Japan. Over the next few decades, he would marry and become an ordained Buddhist priest, though he would later renounce the title, finding organized religion open to corruption and unnecessary for spiritual growth. All the while, he continued his instruction of the martial arts to various students. Yet it wasn't until the year 1957, at the age of 68, that Takamatsu would meet the young man destined to become his successor and the 34th heir to the Togakuredyu ninja legacy, 27-year-old Yoshiaki Hatsumi. Throughout his teenage and adult years, Yoshiaki Hatsumi trained passionately in many of the popular martial arts of the time. Still, even after receiving black belt licenses in such arts as Aikido, Karate, and Judo, something compelled him to continue searching. Searching for a martial method not confined by the rules of sport and competition. A fighting art that dealt with the raw reality of life and death struggles. It was only upon his introduction to Toshitsugu Takamatsu, the Mongolian tiger, as he was once called, that he finally ended his quest. Every weekend for 15 years, the young Hatsumi traveled the length of Japan from his home in Noda City in Chiba Prefecture to Takamatsu's residence in Kashiwabara in the Nara area to train under the warrior sage. It was during these formative training years that Hatsumi, having changed his first name to Masaaki, also began instruction of his initial set of students that would eventually form the core of his senior instructor group. In 1971, the aging battler Takamatsu passed on the title of Soke of his nine inherited fighting traditions to Hatsumi in a small private ceremony telling Hatsumi that he had taught him everything he knew. Everything. Having repaid his debt to his teachers Toda, Ishitani, and Mizuta for their kindness, he then planned to spend his remaining days in the spiritual study of nature. One year later, on April 2, 1972, Toshitsugu Takamatsu quietly passed away at his home in Kashiwabara. Little would he have imagined the onslaught of worldwide attention that would soon surround his secretly kept art 